Welcome back. Uh, let's look at doing something called a Monte Carlo analysis. And we're going to introduce the concept with this first example uh, using a, a, a tool for Monte Carlo called the Risk Solver Platform. That's from the company called Frontline Systems. So notice on my screen I've uh, placed some, some titles in here in which what we're going to do is roll a die. Uh, and then roll it multiple times and then look at the distribution of the outcomes from rolling that die. So as we know a, a die has, has six sides and any number is equally likely to occur between one and six and so that would make it uh, first an, an integer observation the value one or two or three all the way to six and then a uniform distribution in that any value between 1 and 6 is equally likely to occur. So the way that we uh, create that type of, of distribution for the, the die 1, something to, to simulate rolling the die and then seeing the, an outcome each time, uh, is found by using what they call the, a psi-int uniform distribution. The way we get to those, I have the Risk Solver platform loaded. You can see the, the ribbon. And one way to create that distribution is to go to this distribution uh, drop down. Uh, knowing that I want a discrete distribution and that it's an integer uniform, just select that. Uh, notice I have parameters, lower and upper, and so my lower parameter would be a, a 1 and upper would be a, a 6 and then I'm going to give this uh, cell a, a name for die 1 and then if I just close that uh, then you can now see the formulas in that cell the psi integer uniform 1 to 6 for the lower and upper bounds and then with this name now that's one uh, step that has to be taken to run the, the Monte Carlo a second step is we have to identify a cell to hold the outcome I'm going to do uh, two different examples and so in this first example the outcome is simply the result of just rolling that one die. So I'm just going to make a cell reference here to that cell. And then we have to tell the risk solver platform this is a cell to collect the output results on. And so with this cell selected, come up under results, output, and in cell. And so notice that this has been added to the, the cell reference. Psi output. Okay, we need to do one more thing and, and the options would indicate how many trials, how many times we want to roll the die and then collect those results and so I have put 5,000 in for that. And so now I can go up here to the action, the simulate, and run once. Okay, so it's, it's now run if I double click on this outcome then I get a frequency distribution of these results and this is what we'd expect to see that that they're uniformly between 1 and 6 I can see that the mean is 3.5 the standard deviation and, and variance and so forth okay let's do one more example suppose we want to roll two die add those results and see what that outcome would look like. So what I'm going to do is, is take this uh, this first distribution. I'm just going to copy it to here. Uh, notice that it you know, very smartly called it now die 2, which is what I want to do. I'm going to put that outcome here and it's going to be the sum of these two. And then I need to indicate that this is a uh, is a result. Now, before I run this, what do you think that's going to look like? 
In our first case, we've rolled a die and looked at the results, and it was a uniform. Do you think it'd be another uniform distribution or some other type of distribution? Well, let's see. So let's uh, simulate this. And now double click on it. Huh, okay, in this case, when you add these two random variables, that distribution looks like a normal distribution, doesn't it? And so we can see the shape of that distribution, and we can see the, the mean, which is 7 and the standard deviation, and so forth. And that's the basics of uh, identifying a, a distributional cell, an outcome cell, uh, specifying the number of trials, and then looking at those results. Uh, we'll do more next time. Thank you.